D-52 proceeding to sunny two feathers on the Pueblo, over. 10 D-52. We're looking for sunny two feathers. Not here. Do you know where we can find it? I'm not too sure. I think he got a call from Metznaer just before he left. Maybe he went over there. Thanks. All right. On our way to see Ed Snyder, over. Okay, 10 D-52. Detectives. I'm afraid Mr. Snyder is left for the day. Is there anything I can help you with? Where did he go? Well, he didn't tell me. <clears throat> Let me check his book. Hmm. There's a phone number right here in his handwriting. What is it? Five 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 four three eight five. That's Joe Adata's number. What do you say we go pay Joe a visit? Proceeding to Joe Data's residence, over. Copy that, D-52. Officers, I'm so glad you came. My grandfather's missing. He went with his coffee to go sit by the river this morning and never returned. All we found was this, his cup. No other sign? No. Kathy Sosi, Granddad's neighbor, she said she thought she saw Granddad get into a fancy white car with a man, a man in a cowboy hand. She said they headed out that way. But that just goes deep onto Pueblo land. After a few miles, it's not passable. What's out there? Some old Indian ruins, a sweat lodge, and Diablo Canyon. Diablo Canyon? It's easy to get lost up there, isn't it? Yes, you have to go on foot. We'll go take a look. Call headquarters if he shows up. D-52 proceeding to Kiva Ruins, over. 10-4. It's Dada! Joe, it's Dada! Can you hear me? I guess he's not here. That. Come on, let's go. D-52 to the sweat lodge, over. Copy, D-52. Adetta, you in there? Your family's looking for you. It's the police. Adetta, that you? Night Sky, what the hell are you doing here? Looking for Joe Adetta. He's disappeared. Well, he's not in here. What was that? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Let's go. D-52, we're heading to the canyon. Over. Over, D-52. Move it. Now, or next time I shoot to kill. Let me see the pot again. You're stalling. Get going. Move it. Snyder! Hold it right there. Well, well, well. Nice guy. You're smarter than I thought. I'll give you credit for that. Now let's just hope that you're smart enough to turn around and go back to where you came from. Or your friend here is going to have to pay the price. Snyder, drop the gun. You don't want to hurt an old man like Adata. What is he to you? He is my ticket to the lost Kiva, that's what. Drawing on the pot? That's right. Anna realized that the illustration showed a landmark somewhere in this area. And this is the only man who knows which one. No one knows for sure! The Kiva's just an old legend. You're chasing a phantom, Snyder. I guarantee it. Now let the old man go. No can do. Those Hellraisers find out that the Kiva sits under or near my casino site. My plans will come to a grinding halt. I'll be ruined. Do what the man says, Ed. Well, well, well. There's Anna Elk Moon's killer night sky. Looks like I brought him right to you. And I don't even want a reward. He, he put me up to it. I'll swear to that. I had to get rid of Anna. Ed said he would tell the elders about my stake in the casino. I tried to keep the pot away from him, Uncle Joe, but he wanted to get rid of anything that could hurt the deal. 
But I'm not going to let you hurt my uncle. You got what you came for. Now take him and go. Here's your reward, you son of a... Sonny Two Feathers and Ed Snyder are currently serving life sentences for the murder of Anna Elkmoon. Ed Snyder was also sentenced to 20 years for the kidnapping and assault on Joe Adetta. Based on Sonny's confession, this is what happened. Sonny was with his uncle Joe Adetta the afternoon Anna called Joe. She thought the sacred pot's design with its double peaks could point to the ancient Kiva site at the base of the twin mountains of the Santa Cristos, right where the casino development was planned. That's all the ammunition Anna would need to kill the casino deal. Ed blackmailed Sonny into killing Elkmoon, threatening to reveal Sonny's very substantial stake in the casino development and exposing him as a disgrace to his people. The night of the murder, Sonny found Tom McHorse at the Saguaro bar and drugged him, taking his van to the Elkmoon residence. After midnight, Sonny cornered Anna in her studio and shot her. One bullet straight to the head, he then planted evidence to frame McCorse, including the cigarette butt and the gardener's dirt print laced with phosphates. Sonny had a fake pot made overnight by a potter in the Santa Vera market and stowed the pot in Tom McCorse's van. What neither of the men had counted on was that Sonny's Uncle Joe Adeta would detect the fake. When the frame on McCorse began to unravel, Ed ordered the assault on Astrid Ames to divert suspicion away from casino supporters. Ed Snyder's greed proved to be his undoing. He wanted to plunder the Kiva before burying its secrets forever, but that meant enlisting Joe Adeta to help him find the site. When Sonny found out about it, he knew Ed would never let the old man live, and he had enough blood on his hands already. Sonny's remorse for his crimes were real, but Ed Snyder's only regret was getting caught. Ironically, the casino project was voted down in what a lot of people saw as a sympathy vote for Anna Elkmoon. The ancient pot has been returned to Joe Adeta, shaman of the Santa Vera Pueblo. Whether it ever pointed the way to the famous lost Kiva remains a mystery. Nice work, you two. You do your job. My job's a piece of cake. Take a few days off, but not too many. You know Santa Fe. It'll only be a few more days before some nutcase out there decides to make our lives interesting again. <laughs>